Hello everyone, welcome back to Deponia Doomsday. Now, firstly, you will notice this isn't the place where we left off. Very simply. Stop that! It's very simply not the place because I apparently did um, I made a silly mistake Anyone? that no. for some reason, well, it Go broke away. the game Aha. in a way I that required me to backtrack. So this is where you're hiding. I had to Don't load an earlier save. Open. Quick, come in. Because, and I will soon explain. Yeah. Ow! Man, it's tight in here. And blah. Shh, there's yes, few yes. locks. They're everywhere. They How are everywhere. Happen? Uh yes, that's a mystery. But before we start, it's also getting hot in here. So open in the a window. Of but how will we have the route to the elevator? Is much too dangerous. Nonsense! It's all clear out there. No sign of. Ah! Ah, ah, I know a way. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, right. So, what I did, my mistake was, um, there's the the. What are you doing? <laughs> There's Elder Doe and Elder Urn, who both have beads of sweat. Yeah, just not slip. However, my mistake was hey. apparently gathering both beads of sweat first. Hey. <laughs> apparently, doing that prevents Ugh, me from, as you see, I've now made myself slippery on both sides. Stop wine there. <laughs> well then. So thanks. Hmm. So so basically that very simple Heavens, they're everywhere. Now they've spotted Mrs. Zinkel. Quick Mrs. Zinkel, run! No, not in there, not Right, anyway, so that they tiny little mistake um, made it so that I couldn't progress and I had to, in fact, load an earlier save and play yeah! through that whole fucking that let's create a chimera thing. All hell's broken <laughs> loose! <sighs> we know that already! Quick! Activate the emergency terminal! <laughs> So, you know, in interestingly enough, that, that is very much what happened. Anyway, Can now it's all sorted the and... Uh, um, Daedalic Games does well, offer on their the website the in the support draw. section, I think, our uh, save games. So well, if, if you it. happen to run into one myself. of these glitches, they if you play the, the game yourself, mountain. you can either do what I did, which is backtrack, but if that's not an option for some reason, because, you know, I... You can do it! Oh shut up! For the purposes of these episodes, I make multiple saves so time. that I can backtrack if um, ever necessary. The beautiful marble frescoes. Not the champagne showers. They're already in the koi aquarium. You can do it. They're already in the Koi Aquarium! They found the Sushi Fountain! They're already in the Koi Aquarium! There, I have the code. Too late! They're climbing up the walls! Quick, read it out! Okay, here we go. Alpha, Alpha, Gamma, Gamma. This code is Absolute Camera. They're coming through the elevator shaft! Gamma, Beta, Gamma, Beta. Abort now instead of later. It doesn't work! Because that's the abort code. The correct one is on the other side. Ah! They've got my leg! Ah! 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 Quick! Ah! 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 Wait, there. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Zeta. Not so quick! Not so quick! For crying out loud! Oh, that's impossible! Hey, who's room, sir? A clone? Yeah, and a... Okie dokie. 
Right, so we need to grab the helmet. My name is... I don't know anyone. No, it's Rufus. Doofus? No, Rue. Rue. Do... No, Rue. No, but... No, I... You must... Right. Who did ifs and if he... Forgot. So, with that, I think, hmm. Okay, so I think the problem there is I, I didn't... I should have just gone straight Connect. with the helmet. Welcome to your... Hmm. Let's call it P. Damn it. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to go... No, not there. Eh. Ah! Help! What, what? Oh, okay, so they've they've made it so that the loop is as short as possible. For let's just out, let's just outright skip that part. Go there, go there, go there. Helmet terminal. Helmet interface connect. Welcome new to your Mm-hmm. Continue. <laughs> go? Yes, who? Oh no. Dad, please don't go all prime controller on me. I told you I'm going camping. Like hell you are. I know that you plan on accompanying Cletus to Deponia, but that's not gonna happen. You will stay here. Do you understand me? Uh, why should I? Because otherwise I'll activate the self-destruct sequence. You what? Okay. I am not able to take you seriously anymore. Do what you like. I'm not talking to you. No. Hey, what are you doing? I'm initiating the self-destruction sequence, as promised. You wouldn't dare. Just watch me. Alpha, Alpha, Shooby Dooby. This code is absolutely... Hammer. Although, uh, wait, stop. Those were the abort codes. What's that you're muttering? Uh, uh... Got it. Uh, alpha, beta, sha la la. Da 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 da. And done. Well done. You've activated self destruct. <laughs> I'm a genius. You've got a wonderful 30 seconds to evacuate Elysium. If I had fingers, I'd cross them. Okay, this is crazy, Dad. Thank goodness I know you won't go through with it. Come on. Turn it off. Dum to dum, I don't see you stopping the elevator. Okay, you win. I'll wait for you down there. And now abort! Nothing easier than that. 20 seconds and counting. Alpha, beta, epsilon. No, wait. Quick! It started with the uh, alpha. I already told you that I would stay. D don't rush me. 10 seconds. <laughs> Gamma, something, something is absolute burner. Hammer! <laughs> You're right there. Oh, I know! Three, two... Cletus? No. Wait, you are... Who the devil are you? I'm You're not Cletus. Users, but you can call me Rufus. Huh. Well, a fine future awaits me then. You nearly blew up Elysium. Not much better than what Elysians have in mind for Deponia. What? You're Deponian? Then it's true. There is life on Deponia. Which makes the inspection tour obsolete. Quite the opposite. Deponia is inhabited. I've just got to see it. What for? You're already talking to the creme de la creme. The rest is... <sighs> yep, exactly. Like him. Another Deponian. Seen enough? Great. We don't have a lot of time to enjoy eternity. 
or to break this vicious circle. Hey, nothing is getting broken around here. I'm on Elysium with gold. It can stay this way forever. What are you talking about? We have got into a time loop. If we don't do anything, this day will repeat itself for all eternity. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Wow, that sounds exciting. What can we do? Uh, fun zone? No, we have to go to the Ponia. Yes. There's my chrono car. That's the source of the anomaly. A real adventure! Do I still have time to get my detective set? Are you crazy? We're not going anywhere. Oh no! The high boat! Right, that's settled. But... And they lived happily ever after. Without ever coming even close to anything resembling the end of time. This. Am I meant to be pleased about that? Yes, but please don't take too long. There are only 24 hours in a day. The clock is ticking. Why are there monsters in the elevator? I don't understand it either. That was in the last loop. They shouldn't be here. Holy moly! We're gonna be killed by fuel locks for eternity. Not if I will have been able to prevent it. Hmm. A button. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? No, I wanted to leave that to the fuel locks. Come on, shut them scared of heights. Is it greater than your fear of being torn apart by fuel locks? Well, it's great enough for me to always carry a parachute in my backpack. A parachute? Did I say parachute? A pair of uh, shoes. Or a pair of parachute. I don't even think of it. And now, hold on. No, wait. Are we meant to be dropping so fast? It's the law of physics. This parachute was only designed for one person. Rufus? Rufus, are you all right? Nothing is all right. You and I, we once saved Deponia. Now, damn time machine, I thought we could make everything turn out even better without my having to plunge to my death in the end. But now, everything is worse. And the best I can hope for is to restore the old version. Elysium will fall, you'll hate me, or the Fulox will rule the planet. Sounds like we've been through a lot together. Oh yeah, you could say that. Then I've got good news for you. In this timeline, I don't hate you yet. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm finding this all very exciting. Time travel, fuel locks, parachutes, and the day has only just begun. If I think of everything that could happen tomorrow as well... But first there has to be a tomorrow. That sounds like an adventure. Then wash your ears. We don't even know where we landed here. How are we supposed to make it to Kuvak by this evening? So it's a bit tight. Who cares? That's not really a good reason to cower in a hole in the ground, is it? Just look at McChronicle. He would never give up. Say what? But that's... that's... If there's one thing I never do, then it is... Give, give up. Who cares if Elysium is now infested with fuel locks, or that we changed everything that was saving Deponia from demolition? The main thing is, I'm still alive. Nothing else matters. I wanted to go to Elysium? Check. I wanted to save the world? Check. Okay, it's been more saved. I, I admit it. But no one can force me to go through all that crap again. All I have to do is break this stupid time loop. Look to the future! That's the motto! Um, that's the right attitude, I think. Yeah, I mean, but the problem with so, breaking the loop is... There's always a lighthouse. There's always a girl. There's always a man. Um, I don't know what reminded me of that, but probably the... Ah, there you are! <laughs> the lighthouse. Huh? Have we met? Uh, that's probably well, just a support pylon for the... Um... Organ on track, but still. What words? The prophesying. I foresee things. 
Well, welcome to the club. And I speak with our maker. <laughs> Please leave the club grounds in. Don't worry. At the moment, I don't do either. Chisel is block. I'm stuck on the fourth and three quarters commandment. Four and three quarters? Yes. Uh, the, the third one ended up being quite long. So what? Who cares? Well, the space on the stone is limited. And then there are the high localization costs. And still, you talk and talk. Originally, it was just going to be three commandments, but I've got the feeling it's missing a good conclusion. A blessing if you ran into it. Okay, how about thou shalt never carve things in stone? Oh. I like that. It's succinct, and it has that self-ironic nod and a wink that you only usually find in the title of hip-hop records. So, what do you think? Perfect. We should present it to the audience. He looks like someone who sleeps under a bridge, but then where did he get the curtains? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to Hobo Moses! <laughs> Thou shalt not write things in stone! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The perfect conclusion for the series. I think he should do another one. Don't you think it leaves too many questions open? Right. For example, what happened to those neighbors? They appeared in the second commandment and were never mentioned again. Hmm. I thought as much. Maybe you shouldn't have carved it in stone. Now you need another commandment to reconcile you with your community. I only ever wanted to be loved. <laughs> Need any No, I want to finish the tap and as your producer. Okay, so I think that's just like a, a weird nod at the um Orich Tridge and now the fourth game. Yeah. It's great. Here lies Rufus, savior of world. <gasps> Monstrous! I had them check and see if there was anyone else in the butt model business with the same name. Otherwise I would never have printed all those flyers. Yoo-hoo! Do you know the way to Kuvak? Who, what? Kuvak, a village south of Usa Westvar. Doesn't really sound like the hub of existence. Nah, it's more like the hub of hopelessness. But it is. It's at least four days' march to Usa Westvar. It would even take a whole day in a rust bucket. I don't have an entire day. Then forget it. There's nothing here. Port Arustica is a few hours upriver. If someone gave you a lift, you might just make it. Before my chronicle leaves for Kuvak. Of course. Did you hear that? There's still hope. Mm -hmm. Now we just need to find my chronicle. And someone who'll lend you a boat. Maybe you can find one at the fair over there. At the what? I think I just found my chronicle. The Junk Knights. Yeah. Strange. Oh, hello. There's someone we know. Fit. That is night swap, but. That socket looks like power in Get I lost! I'm closed! Wait a minute. I know you. You're the pipehead man, the fortune teller from Porta Fisco. I barely recognize you, Baldy, with that hat. You're mistaken. I've never ever been to Porta Fisco. And I've never had a bald head either. Because it hasn't happened yet. Except for the baldness. You should just admit that. But we'll be running into one another a few times. Oh, so it's come to this. Now any old Tom, Dick, or Rufus can tell the future better than me. Why so grumpy? Someone stolen my crystal ball. Now I can't see the future anymore. Not even a little. You see, I have a question or two. Then get me a new ball.
Can you use this to predict the future for me? I see a hole. Because my future... No! Because this is a bloody bowling ball! I need a real ball to tell your fortune. One you can... Hmm. Well, well, that's a bit harsh. Okay, so that's... set of keys down there. Also a dead attendant and uh, we need to be about this. this and an immune system that laughs at 20 year old germs. I think you need and an there's a ring inside. Quite so let's see hmm, maybe here. Look, the current edition of hats. First, I'll arrange the boat. Then, I can... Hello there. The, the tentacle looks very much like, um, you know, a bit of the name of the tentacle. Well, I actually happen to be looking for a boat. I have to be in Porta Rustica before sunrise. <laughs> you can't hurry love, my friend. This trip's only for couples in love. Oh, that's easy. I'm, uh, I'm here with my girlfriend. Whoa. I wouldn't have guessed you had a girlfriend, judging by your looks. <laughs> How about you, sweet thing? My grandma's called Doris? That's got an O in it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But if you do, just stick your photo in the love o meter What do you mean, photo? <laughs> you say you're in love, but you ain't even got a photo of her in your wallet. Wh what's a wallet? No photo, no ride. Ain't that right, sweet? I saw a cat that was like red and brown and white. <laughs> you said it, but don't be sad. Here, take this sausage token as a consolation. Uh, oh, we can get a sausage. They only rent boats to couples in love. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> I know, sounds great. But they want a photo as proof. This is probably the most nefarious puzzle I've had to solve so far. Puzzle? Don't you think that... Don't worry. <laughs> you don't know me that way. Oh, dear. First, I need to find the three prerequisite tasks. There are always three prerequisite tasks. Just wait here. I'll be back soon. Uh, that... Oh, whatever. Look, the current edition of hats. Well, who would have thought? Apparently, bald is all the rage. Well, maybe we can show that to um, to the man with the plan. No, this guy. Hmm? Bit of hat. Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. What? Show me that. Hat model. Anska meat cap converts. Bald men make a more potent impression. So, leave the sunroof open this summer. Well, if that's how it is. Well, now we've got a bit of bit of turban cloth. Excellent. Um, hmm. Well, 
well, let's see about the sausage token then. Sausage box online. What can I sausage for you? <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, great. You think you've got it hard? I've got a family to feed. One sausage. All out of sausage. Well, I thought this was a sausage stand. Please don't rub salt in the wound. The whole thing is humiliating enough as it is. Yeah, huh. I get it. The costume and all. Costume. Can you just take one more look? Oh, all right. No, oh, there's a tiny hatch there. I may have just murdered a sausage bot. Don't even feel bad. No, can't even steal condiments, so... Mm. Oh, there's a hatch there as well. Oh, a throttle limiter. Place of the fuse. This was a bit strange, but okay then. Oh no, we can get the key of course. Let's not try to rescue my chronicle, let's get the key instead. on track three, the Whoa! inner city express train from Chunder Town, Spewville, Barfington, Whoa! and Upper Chuck Kingsley. Whoa! Passengers connecting through to Hurlingdon should please Whoa! check the flyers in section one. Stand back and exercise caution as your train Whoa! arrives. Exactly a precision landing, but whatever. Hmm. Well, isn't that just typical? While I'm doing all the work, you're having the time of your life on the roller coaster. I would quite like to give you a hand. Unfortunately, I currently require urgent use of both of my hands in order to hang on to this safety belt for dear life. <sighs> I'm not saying I'm I'm just saying that everyone has to set their own priorities. Coins, uh, type of cloth, maybe? Uh, I wish Gold could see this. <laughs> you comfy up there? <sighs> hmm. Oh well. Let's buy some gum. Hey, there's a ring in there. With a little luck. Ah, oh, crap. This time I'm gonna... Damn! Hearing. Oh come on! Ha! No! Oh 
Ah, there's the ring. Hey, stop! Oh, man, that can't be true. Those damn wombats, they always mess things up. Right, so wombat then. Okay, fine. Let's take the gun because, you know, he is full. Has to be. Them, the trend seems trade? to be trending away from trends. Look, your hat is so out of style. Hardly surprising. My issue of hats is over ten years old. It keeps me sane on long nights in the desert. But at what price? There, take it. I don't need it anymore. It obviously didn't help you much. Retro magazine. Hmm. Okay, I was thinking I might have been able to make a um a crystal ball with some finesse, but instead I knew it. Please note that wine gum should not be pushed into nostrils or any other orifice. The Dalek Entertainment GmbH assumes no liability for damages caused by the improper use of confectionery. Not perfect. Ha, huh. I know Gaul's fate. <laughs> Say cheese, Gaul. Cheese, Gaul. <laughs> perfect. Okay then, so let's put that there, I suppose. And throttle limiter. I can do better than that. I look fantastic. But Gold just had to make a face. Almost better. At least this one's smiling. Mm. No, can't steal anything from there. <laughs> Let's show the. Look, extravagant hats are retro, and that makes them totally in. Oh dear, that means I'm completely behind the times. Where will I get an extravagant hat from? Hmm, Ex extravagant hat. Hmm. Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. We'll soon change that. It's a good job I'm not a dedicated follower of fashion. Look, extra... Where will... <laughs> oh, we could polish your board. <laughs> yes, let's polish your head up to a nice sheen. Huh? What's that supposed to be? A uh, hat, maybe? And a very extravagant one, too. Give that here. Now that's classy. Ooh, and it feels nice on the scalp. Well, if anyone's an expert in the field, it's you. Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. Oh, what luck! This monstrosity was starting to give me a headache. You always... This is number minus one. Show me. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Is that your girlfriend? I hope you are not planning to have any children. Look, just read the future, okay? All right. I think I'm beginning to see something. What? What's that? A feedback loop? Quick! Take it away! 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 Uh, 
Uh, hello? Is this still part of... <laughs> Top hats have... But fashion usually... <laughs> Smile! And now very mysterious. I want to feel the vision. And now, like you just suffered a mishap. So, I think I got everything I wanted to see. It was a pleasure working with you. We have broken a, broken the psychic. Well, it's okay. So you need a vision. Well, here's one you can have. Aha! I can't make out anything. I know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know it's blurred. See, that's the temporal jet lag. The last time I slept, it was in 10 hours. Don't get me wrong. I think it's marvelous. Being explicit only makes you vulnerable. It looks like a tunnel out of one and the same picture. You can't make out where it stops or where it begins. That has something to do with a feedback loop. Yeah, perfection! Excellent. I think I now know what the final commandment should be. Now, I just need a way to carve it in stone without violating the never carve anything in stone clause. Here, take my chisel. I have no need. Hmm. Washable watercolors? Perfect. Now, I can finally complete the last commandment. Hey, boys. Something's going on up there. Hey, has he chiseled his beard to something again? No, it's a new commandment. Really? What does it say? The last thing I will tell you, son, the show must certainly go on wow and that's what we've been waiting for all this time I'm so disappointed you also have a sudden desire to go back to Haldica to massacre religious zealots we should definitely reconsider reconsidering our lives exactly the show must certainly go on you said here here it's a bit strange, but let's go to after the junk knights. Maybe they've had a revelation about something. Hmm. Hey there. Are you talking? You need a job? I can think of one. Let's hear it. We've been gathering dust for long enough. To be honest, I don't really know if it's up your alley. It's about to search for a ring. A beast has stolen it and fled with it into the depths of a labyrinth. Well, we have certainly accepted worse quests. Certainly better than that promo job for baby food at Rake, please. What are we waiting for? The time has come, my faithful companions. Too long have we allowed the powers of darkness to spread death and terror. Are you ready to raise your swords for the final all-important battle? Is that thing over? They're supposed to be the labyrinth. I'll interpret that as an enthusiastic charge. Okay, yeah, go in. Go on. Are you ready for the battle to end up for the for the? Hey. For yeah, 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 go in. Did he say glory or slotty? We'll have to chance it. Like, okay, this is actually quite cool. Oh dear, a wombat! Wait, is this a situation? Do they just keep attacking themselves?
that was actually quite cool. I the like ring that. In his hand, he remembered the brave comrades who had fallen in battle. Ugly hat guy. The other guy. And did I forget anyone? Yeah, they did. But they they didn't die. I mean did they? Surely they can't have died. Strange. Hmm. It's weird. I'm sure it'll live. Oh, it's a clever way you tricked that stupid love test. What? Love test? What? Don't move! Wait! What are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. I protest! Ow, oh, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a band-aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! If Whoa! you miss the water, don't forget to roll over. Ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of the sentence? Uh. Wait a minute. It is an option, but that doesn't make any sense. Huh, that's pretty silly. Ah, what the heck. For love! Get a star from the heavens. Check. When I... <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Anyway. Uh... Oh, hello, Mac. Oh, Everything look, all Monsieur hunky has finally decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it, after you almost managed to kill me? Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't a bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And now, look in the mirror. Lens perf unfortunately. Well, let's take the ham then. So I think I'll wait. We both have some. Oh, Rufus, I picked it up on Elysium. <laughs> hmm, my chronicle. He doesn't know anything about it. It's off. Porta Rust, if we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gol and me. And where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Just press the Strange, but uh, is that supposed to be me? Nah. What sort of perverted games are you playing here? Look, I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's it's part of my plan to. Uh, I I don't want to know. Just the boat is ready. Hurry up. Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. You were right. Love is just. Like the sea, baby, just as deep and as wide, I agree. There are sharks, creek, and venomous eels, and terrors completely unknown. Lurking.
Come on, don't dawdle. Don't you get it? We're too late. Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh, yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. Not an idiot, adult. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually, my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it! Quiet at the kitty table. The adults are talking. Psst! Rufus! That's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicle Senior. Senior? Ha! <laughs> Vice Senior's probably more like it, if that. McChronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you... my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chronoparticle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay, 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. Moo moo moo. Boo! McChronic Pants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that and worked on a real time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McClonical was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. Right, well, strange, but this is where this episode ends, for it is that time again. I suppose in the next episode we shall fill these young brains with some kind of lies. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this time, and for now, goodbye.